After the holiday weekend, we got a little bit of a short week. I'm probably not going to get a full video out this week, but I thought I'd do a quick one here. This video is going to be more for the benefit of the know-it-all types. The ones who are having problems with me doing some very light prescribed burning. We'll do a quick little walkthrough here and show that we didn't create a barren wasteland. We didn't kill all life by doing a very low intensity prescribed burn. There wasn't much happening here for a few weeks after the burn, but just the last few days, greenery started popping up everywhere. We got wild rose, honeysuckle, more vetches or vetch-like plants coming up out of the char, native blackberry, wild rose, not much poison oak yet, but a little, scurf peas, iris starting to send up new shoots. Obviously the plant community is starting to thrive after the fire. I imagine the fungal mycorrhizal communities underneath the ground are doing just fine too. If we go across the road here, we can look at a place that I burned a few years ago. I burned this probably three years ago, a low intensity prescribed burn. Here's some char from it. More char. Does this look like a barren wasteland to you that had the soil and all the life scorched out of it? It could be just my imagination, but it looks like this little area that's burned is a little more lush than the area around it. This is just one example of where I did a low intensity prescribed burn. And apparently I didn't scorch the soil and all the life in it and create a barren wasteland unless this is the definition of scorched soil, barren wasteland, lifeless soil. I might have to look into my definitions and confirm that. Let's go look at another one real quick. Here's a more shaded forested area that was burned a few years ago. Another barren wasteland we created by burning it. Another area I showed in the previous video that I burned a few years ago. How barren does this look? Thriving trees, greenery on the ground, woody debris, there's just a quick update of the prescribed burns. Hopefully this will ease the minds of those who don't understand fire ecology, but think they understand more about it than the entire community of people who study, manage, and work with fire adapted ecosystems. But due to the nature of the aforementioned people, I'm guessing it won't. And this video is probably pointless but we'll try to add at least a little bit of value for the know-it-alls. When I look through the comments, I can tell most people watching this channel, they're sharp people, they follow along, they're able to keep up. But there are a few know-it-alls who struggle with this channel. They, they just have a hard time with it. So here's something that might help you out a little bit. If you were to take all the time and energy you spend trying to convince other people that you know things that you don't actually know about, Take that time and energy, focus it on learning from people who actually have experience with what you don't know about. Imagine what that would do for you.